What's up, YouTube? Today, we got a new set of batteries from Battery Hookup. Let's open them up. These are lithium iron phosphate, 25 amp hours. This is their, I think their top band. That's the one's uh, uh, battery hookup always has. So, little cute little prismatic cells. Uh, they're supposed to be, I guess, uh, spares. So they're basically new, but they were unused. So, so they're, the, they're marked for polarity on the post. So uh, I'm gonna build up this battery and put some bus bars on. And we're going to charge it up, and we're going to do a capacity test and see what these these pull. So see you in a little bit. I'm about ready to do a capacity test on these top band 24 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells from Battery Hookup. And let's flip you around. There you go. There they go. I've got them all topped off. Um, got uh, nuts on it. Uh, these have like a little uh, star kind of washer on it, and so they grip those um, bus bars I made. If you if you've seen the last video how I made these, if you haven't, uh, go back and watch it. Uh, super simple. And uh, we're gonna do a capacity test on this battery. And. Uh, That'll be a good test for these bus bars to see if they hold up. We'll do, you know, kind of get what the temperature and stuff like that. But without further ado, I'm gonna start this guy recording. Uh, I'm gonna try to get to as close as possible to a 1C discharge. I don't know how close I'll get. But let's turn on the uh, inverter. And I've got the heater here on the lowest setting and um, well that's pulling 31 amps is that the lowest setting yeah so well we're gonna do slightly over 1c <laughs> um, should be all right I think Anyways, we're going to let this go, and I'll come back. Okay, guys, real quick, uh, I switched over to the heat gun. So we're uh, doing uh, just under 1C, uh, 22.8 amps. So it didn't run maybe less than a minute with the, the heater at a little above 1C. We're about halfway and I just wanted to take the time to show that uh, these bus bars are just fine not even warm I mean like same temperature as everything around it these are good for 30 amps despite what uh, uh, some people are claiming um, 30 amps be it DC AC pretty much no difference uh, the only difference that you have to deal with when it comes to DC voltage versus AC voltage is uh, DC voltage has more of a, a drop uh, uh, for uh, with the distance of the wire that you have. So you have to take that into, into consideration. But there's plenty of calculators online. It's just basic Ohm's Law stuff. Uh, batteries like 75 Fahrenheit. Uh, you know, no difference up here. If I move it up here. Uh, on the uh, bus bar, you know, we're actually uh, the uh, bus bar is actually cooler, you know. So uh, yeah, no heating there. 
It's uh, uh, got 23 amps running through perfectly fine. You're good to go. No problems. So I'll come back whenever this discharge test is done. Uh, uh, yeah, so we got real close. Got one cell, if you see here, I don't know if you can see, uh, but there's uh, cell number seven, which has gone to 2.4, and uh, we're at 24.4 amp hours. So we're, we're almost there. So yeah, we got to um, 24.481 amp hours, uh, 611.40 watt hours. So we're a few percent shy. I think I might charge up again and see if I can't get this cell number seven to to stay out there. So I might do another capacity test. I think I think I might be able to get it to squeak by. All right, guys. I decided to not give up on this. I charged it back up. I'm now pulling a .3 C discharge on it and so here we go you see 7.6 amps roughly about a 0.3 C and I've got it plugged I've got my PC plugged in uh, and my PC is uh, doing crypto mining so we're pulling about 200 watts anyways I'm gonna let this run and uh, I'll get back whenever this uh, discharge test finishes and we'll see if we pull full capacity then. All right guys, yeah, I've got one cell. There you go. That's still keeping us from hitting full capacity. Uh, we've hit 24.4 uh, amp hours. So uh, even at a 0.3 discharge rate, we still were not able to get a full capacity. I've got one cell. That cell seven is uh, is holding the whole thing back. Unfortunately, I sent a message to uh, Battery Hookup, and uh, I'm gonna see if they have another cell that they could send me. All right, so Battery Hookup came through, guys. Um, they always do. Uh, I've had I've bought a lot of batteries from them, and uh, a couple of times I have had some issues, and they always come through. So I had one cell. As you remember, that was keeping me from pulling full capacity. So they have sent me another cell. Be cool. I always wanted a sticker. I always get a little postcard thing. Oh, 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 look. <laughs> that is the first time I've gotten a sticker. Ah, oh, that is actually cool. That is pretty exciting. We're going to do a capacity test again. And hopefully this time it will reach full capacity. All right, guys, so here's the battery. I got the new cell in from uh, Battery Hookup, and uh, I've got it fully charged, and we're gonna start the discharge. We'll be back when that's finished. guys I think we're gonna make it this time we're at 1% left we're at 24.8 amp hours yeah everything is still above 2.5 all the cells are let me get you flipped around here and uh, yeah we just hit 25 amp hours so this time pulled full capacity we're gonna let it roll and see how far okay one cell is down to 2.75 probably gonna be coming up here pretty soon that we're gonna stop the test. Yeah, it was just one cell that was holding us back and uh, battery hookup. Got that taken care of. They always get a, you know, it taken care of. I've, I've had a couple of times where I've had to contact them and have them take care of something and uh, they don't, they have. They've never, they never give me any hard times, which is nice. Um, if you wanna get these cells, I think they're out of stock right now, but I'll put a link to their website and if you use my uh, uh, discount code BMC, then uh, you can save 5% off your purchase. You can use that for any purchase on battery hookup. Okay, there we go. We hit the low voltage cutoff and we got 25.64.
or 25.655 amp hours, total of 645.58 watt hours. And so there you go. These are nice little cells. Uh, I'd like to actually get me some more. But uh, if you would like to, please like, subscribe. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next video.